Hello traders, in today's video, we are going to be playing Indicator Roulette. So I actually had this as one of the ideas uh, that, that someone had, I think, in one of my previous videos, where basically I would just go to a random indicator and uh, where are they? Built in library or public library. And I would just click on a random one and then I would rate it out of 10. So without further ado, let's just go look at some random indicators and see if any of them are actually good. I'm going to be pretty harsh on these ratings, uh, so I apologize if anyone who had taken the time to create any of these indicators is watching this because, you know, their indicator might get uh, some bad press. We'll see. Let's dive in. All right, indicator number one on Bitcoin. Not like number one, like it's the best, but the random, the first random one. All right, so I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Let's just randomly do this and here. All right, what do we got here, guys? What do we got here? We got a bunch of purple dots, um, some blue, some red. V Dubus Binary Pro, not liking this already. I'm out of 10. I'm already feeling like this is a two or a three. Um, let's see if we can actually learn any more about this. I'm gonna go to the source code. Not loving this so far. So what we have here, oops, is input. So moving averages, uh, Bollinger, so it's a Bollinger Band moving average, yeah. All right, this guy's not really, this is not a great indicator, I, I can kind of tell by now. Um, maybe it's not really for crypto. Looking at it on the five minute, yeah. All right, this guy got a two out of 10 uh, for, for that indicator. I hope that the other indicators are slightly better and we got this guy, okay. Modified Heikonashi. It's interesting just how many different kinds of analysis you get when you just randomly click on them. Um, so it looks like buy on green bar, sell on red bar. Is that is that fair to say? Look at the source code here. Yeah, this one I'm definitely liking like three times more probably. So yeah, it depends on how you want to interpret this, but I think red means more bearish and green means more bullish. Yeah, this is actually, this is not a bad indicator for sure. CM trend bars. Let's see what the settings are for this guy too. Inputs. So it uses EMA. It uses EMAs and Heiken Ashi. I mean, not bad, my friend. Not bad. I'm I'm feeling like a seven on this one. Seriously. I mean, I'm not saying you should definitely use this, and I'm not even saying that it's right to buy on green and sell on red. Um, it looks like it probably is better to buy green and sell red. Uh, I mean, like look here. I mean, look here. But that would indicate selling right now. Yeah, this is this is like actually a solid eight. So I'm actually gonna give this guy an eight. Um, yeah, good, good job. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna remove this one. Um, kind of don't want to though, because th th this one's good. All right, maybe we get a better one, but that one, that one was a solid eight, whereas the one before was like a two. All right, another random one. Let's see if we get a ten here. A ten would have to be like just something that. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Not okay. I have some serious issues with TD analysis. Tom to mark analysis. I really hope uh, people who are who love TD stuff are are, are not watching this because I am really not a fan. Immediately, I'm sorry. That's gonna get like a one out of ten. Um, yeah, that's just not no. Okay, that's like a one out of ten for me. Probably gonna get a million dislikes in this video just from all the TD lovers, but it's not my thing. Um, so we have a two out of ten. Okay, what what did I even click here? Oh, interesting. So it tells you where to like go long and short, but based on what metrics. All right, so so far it looks good, but a lot of backtested indicators look good. I like this. It well, it's it's well set up for sure. Um, what is this thing? Okay, I'm liking the effort that this was put into, but I just don't know what the analysis is using. Is it using some kind of MA stuff? Moving average or RSI? Okay, move some moving average here. RMA long if da, 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 okay. This is really a lot, my lord. Jeez. Okay, this is this is this is another pretty quality indicator. I have to say, RMA, I don't know if that stands for something. Oh, thank you. Moving average use an RSI. So it's like a moving average RSI. Okay, that's that's interesting. So it looks at I think it's a moving average on RSI itself, actually. And uh, this this actually looks good. So I gave that Heiken Ashi an eight out of 10. I'm gonna give this, oh no, hmm. I'm leaning toward pretty high. 
because this just seems I, I don't like technical technical analysis i don't like um ugh, not good there that's kind of ugly i don't like rsi i don't like ma but this is seeming like it's decent i'm gonna give this guy a eight out of ten as well i think that this definitely deserves an eight out of ten i think that the other one was better with that heiken ashi um with with the heiken ashi ma combo but this is just like the effort that's put in the cleanliness the simplicity i'm liking this so this is this is more of what i want to see this is like an eight uh, so we have two eights so far a one and a two from my uh editor and i won't look oh god nope Okay, Ricardo Santos just popped up. I don't know why he did, maybe because I wasn't looking, but where? Oh, here, here it is. Okay, this is his. Okay. Oh, good lord. Okay, this is immediately like, this is immediately like a two or a one. I really am not impressed. I hope Ricardo doesn't, I don't know you, Ricardo, but I hope you don't like get all angry. But like, come on, man. Like, this is just, this is just too much. You should, Okay. So I think that what this is doing is it's looking for chart patterns. Yeah. And it's combining them with Fibonacci. It's trying to make some super analysis with those. Let's go into daily just so we can get like a little bit less craziness. Uh, come on. This this is like, this is like, again, like probably like a three. Yeah, I'm going to give this guy a three because some of these indicators, when you, when you pull them up, they're so specialized. And if, if we're going to talk about a good, just kind of all round technical analysis indicator or, or trading view indicator, it, I mean, simplicity in something that you find very important, I think is, is what you need to do. I think just having a million things on a chart is just almost always, I think 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just going to hurt you more than it helps you. Um, even with me, if I use like open interest liquidations, um, uh, sentiment, um, all different kinds of sentiment, and then look at even more stuff. It's just analysis paralysis. It does not help. You want to pick one or two indicators that really help you. Just only use those. Um, I mean, to a, to a extent. That's kind of what I would recommend. So yeah, that guy was a three out of ten. So definitely not not that impressed with that. Let's see if anything down here. I'm gonna scroll way down randomly with this indicator. Oh, I got a, I got this one. Okay, that one I can't get because it's locked. I'll keep scrolling. And let's see what we get here. <laughs> I got Bifinex BTC long versus short ratio. I promise you guys I didn't even mean to do that. That is that is actually hilarious because that's one of the indicators that I obsessed with about about two years ago, one year ago. I love, 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 love this indicator. Not a great rendition of this indicator at all. Way too simple and just not enough different kinds of ways you can use it. Here. I'm not impressed by the, the layout. That's going to cost rating, but because it's... Uh, Bifnex long short, I'm already like in love with it. You can see a jump in longs here. Oh yeah. Jump in longs here, and then you can see the price kind of um falls. Yeah, the ratios get really, really high on here. This means here, uh, to my knowledge, that there were 14 more times more long contracts or yeah, long contracts in margin than there were short, which is insane. So this would have been a decent time to short. Let's go look at this in the daily, because I know some of you, oh yeah, of course. Everyone bought. And there's so many people who have bought that I think that we have probably do for some correction. Like you can see here, uh, not a great example around here, but I mean, it spiked and then price fell. I don't actually know about that. If I go to the one hour, let's see if there's anything good. Yeah, so this this looks decent. Like looks like we have a rush in margin longs here and bye bye to those guys. They get slaughtered. And it seems like it's pretty high now, which is to me is pretty bearish. And the interesting thing about this indicator is look how as price is going up uh, that... Uh, the sentiment's going down, which to me is quite bullish. So overall, I, I'm impressed. I mean, I love the indicator, and I'm so glad I randomly stumbled upon this one on TradingView Indicator Roulette. Um, but I really do not like the way that this guy did it. Uh, you know, just the everything's just way too simple here. So um, last battle, user last battle. I think you can do a better job next time. Uh, this is just like not, you know, your your best work. But the, the the source of it's great. The Bifinex long short's amazing. That guy's going to get a 7 out of 10. It would be probably like a 9 out of 10 indicator if there was just more to it. But that's a, that's a clean 7. That's a very, very clean 7. Um, okay, so let's go to this guy. I don't think I've used this one before. No, no, definitely haven't. Jeez, guys. What? Okay, come on. Seriously? Like, either that's a glitch or... 
like some of these indicators like just make me laugh i mean what you're, you're giving so many signals that like yeah i mean like look at that how do you make sense of that you know do you think that a hedge fund trader or a prop trader or a professional trader is going to look at that and do every single one of these options and not get slaughtered uh yeah this is this is just way too much if there's a way to to to, to simplify this very simply which i it just doesn't look like there is um uh, i okay this this is this is this is actually a one yeah i, I mean i'm sorry but th this is terrible this is this is clearly a one um i know that you know the guy who made this probably put in some work but this is just it, it just doesn't even look good um it, i mean it doesn't even look like it would perform well it looks terrible but um yeah this is like a clean one so i want to see more indicators that i would indicate like would be like three to seven like mid-tier random trading view indicators three to six but um it, it seems like a lot of these indicators i either love them or hate them they're very polarizing and i don't really have many that i'm like i'm okay with but i don't love so let's see here oh elliot wave counter um okay so what are you doing here buddy what are you doing elliot wave four is greater than elliot wave one. Oh, the rule in elliot wave three i, I understand what you're saying um, black probably isn't the greatest thing to use. If I have a black chart, that's going to probably make things quite annoying here. Uh, but I don't really feel like changing the chart. Hope you guys can actually see that though. Um, not loving this man. And you don't even post the source code. Uh, I, I think that there are a lot better Elliott Wave calculator thingies, counters. And I think that the best Elliott Wave through you can get is doing it by yourself, not by using some trading view indicator to do it. Uh, I mean, this guy deserves a three. This just isn't really like anything to write home about. And also Elliott Wave Theory is better performed uh, not on a robotic basis, uh, on an uh, automated basis, but better just analyzing yourself. I think you 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 probably are gonna have a better shot. So I really do not put my trust in this indicator, um, but three out of 10, you know. Okay, let's go to one of the more popular ones. Random, uh, okay. So I guess we sell red, we buy green. Let's go on the daily, let's get crazy. All it said is like buy on, um, it want us to buy Jan 11. It want us to buy right here, which is okay. I mean, it's decent. This is not great. You'd want to get, I mean, look, the, the reason you might say, wait, didn't this indicator indicate us to buy here? It did, but the first indication is important. The first indication was to, was to buy here. So if you were using this indicator, you would have bought here. Uh, so you might have bought here, and then you might have been hit with a massive drawdown. Uh, so this is okay, but um, I want to see exactly what this uses. This can't just be RSI. Simple. Is this just RSI? I'm hoping that it's like a little bit more than RSI. Oh, MAs? Moving averages? Yeah, wait. Moving averages and RSI. It seems like that's a common pattern of a lot of these popular indicators is that they're moving averages um, plus plus RSI. I would say that this indicator is just okay. I'm not really loving it um, by any stretch. I'm really not, this is bad, very bad. Like this is a, a period of really bad buys. I know it's just like one isolated period in gajillions, but th this just doesn't look good. Um, so I'm, I'm going to hesitate to give this anything higher than like a three. You know, I, I would put this at a three. I don't think that this deserves higher. RSI, guys, be careful with RSI. Um, I think that that's not really a great indicator to use. If anything, I think that the Heiken um moving average indicator and the Bitfinex long short indicator, those indicators seem to, to do a lot better than, than this. Now, another thing to come up is you might be saying, well, you know, wouldn't you want to just trade against the indicators that you'd rate as like a one or a two? I actually wouldn't recommend that because some of those indicators that I said were just absolutely terrible. And I'm not talking about the ones that were terrible because they were confusing, but the ones that were terrible because they just were terrible. Those, a lot of them are, are, are pretty random. So trading against them can be very dangerous. So I'd actually warn you guys, try not to trade against an indicator that's absolutely terrible. Because if an indicator is just horrendous, um, typically more often than not, it's more just chaotic and random signals. And it's not like actually perfectly bad perfectly bad such that every single trade would have been perfect if you had done the opposite. You, you're not going to find, I think, too many of those. But uh, okay, let's do drum roll for the final one. Hopefully we get like a 10 here. But let's see what we got here. What I click. Support, resistance, supply, demand. I've talked a lot about supply, demand in the past. 
Not loving this so far, but I'll try it. Um, okay, very simple, like really, really, really simple. Let's go to daily. The daily's daily's just gross. Um, one hour looks uh, what? Oh wait, this is. I think that what the, what they're doing here is this is the uh, demand zone rising. I believe. Yeah. So oh, actually, it's not bad. Actually, I don't hate this. I really don't hate this at all. Oh, I see what it's saying. Now, what it's saying, guys, is do, if you see those black lines, can I make those black lines white without changing every one? But there's these tiny black lines you can see here. And what they do is this indicates a point of resistance. And then this is indicating the zone where that resistance was at, which probably means that this could be a potential supply zone, potential where, where people could sell. And the reason why we have supply and demand zones, this is a supply zone because any longs who are trapped here might want to sell uh, when they when they get here out of, you know, break even. Uh, so that might be a reason why it uh, does that. Yeah, no, this is an indicator. I'm 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 liking this a lot better. You know, my first impression of this guy was not not great at all. But after I kind of took the time to really see what this is, I am liking it so much more. And maybe this could actually provide some halfway decent signals for support and resistance. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you get some good ones here. Um, you know, best time frame to use this on. It seems like anything over maybe the five minute. The one minute looks terrible. The one day looks terrible. Sorry for all the switching around, guys, but I think the five minutes decent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is definitely an indicator that I would put higher. I'm going to give this guy... Huh. This is going to get... This is a really hard one because I like this. I'm liking this a lot more the more I'm like looking at it. Um, yeah, you get a seven. I was thinking about putting you maybe higher than uh, than the you know the ones that I found really good. The ties at eight, but this is this is like a solid seven out of ten in in how good it is. Um, it would be a better indicator if more. I don't know if there was more to it. Um, if if you were able to add a little bit better analysis, but at the same time not add too much complexity, uh, which is really, really hard to do, trust me. But if you can do that, then that then you might get to like an 8.5 or a 9 if there is an 8.5. So this is my like random, I guess, tier list of trading view indicators, just like completely random uh, indicators that I find. Most indicators in trading view I think are going to be terrible. I think that most of them aren't gonna help you but you will find a few gems here and there and weirdly enough one of the best ways to do that is randomly clicking and a lot of people ask me well where do i find all these random tools random you know great tools great services great programs a lot of it's just random a lot of it's just like i randomly find some great tool and i use it and you know this is kind of another way you can do that too so if you want to use any of these indicators you might have to rewind the video and then go uh you know type it out into trading view um, I think every one of these indicators is free, actually. So you're not going to have any issues with um, with anything I clicked on being paid. Because I do have TradingView Premium, but even even you using the you know free version, you, you can use this too. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, great suggestion from that that uh, commenter on YouTube who wanted me to do more of like an indicator roulette and just review a bunch of TradingView indicators. I loved it. I had fun. I might seem like I'm absolutely crazy and just, you know, kind of crapping on a bunch of random people's work because that's what I'm doing here basically. But um, I like it. I mean, I had fun and um, hopefully some of these indicators might help you. If not, don't sue me.